Welcome back to Let's Play The Consequence, the DLC chapter for The Evil Within. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're in a fairly nondescript yet somehow ominous corridor. Shout out to Ari Zoko, who uh, commented on that last chase sequence with the no-faced man. I've been—I don't recognize any of this, to be honest. I don't remember what happened at the end. We're making our way to the hotel. That's right. Um, towards the end of the chase sequence, it leads uh, out to the bus. Uh. The no-faced man is suddenly replaced with heresy, the giant spider monster that uh, we fought in the bus level of uh, the main campaign. Which is apparently what inspired Erizoko to wonder if, uh, well, specifically, if the no-faced man can just drop in whenever he wants and, uh, you know, turn into a giant hallway-chasing monster, or just pop out of a shadow and grab Kidman by the throat. Why do they even have a problem with Ruvik? It seems like they can manipulate reality almost as easily as he can. The suggestion is... Maybe that's not really Kidman's boss. Maybe that's just Ruvik playing off of Kidman's fears of Mobius. What am I doing? They're blind. Well, I need whatever that is. I can see that much with my eyes. Again, don't go down there. Jump out onto that shelf, maybe? I don't know. By the way, apparently these guys are called cadavers. Pete kept going even after she exploded into chunks. I should have just kept going instead of hesitating and panicking. Or hey, failing that, let's try this. Let's get out here. What is around here anyway? Right. Wow, that was close. Stop that. throw this, they'll go running to. It'll give me enough time to... You know what? I can just throw it over there. Oh, 
hell. Watch those cans. No idea if that will actually cause a problem, but you know. I'm like 80% sure the plates got that one dude's attention, so. Why are you guys out here now? need this. This is the same meat locker where uh, Sebastian fought the keeper again. Oh, I get it. I need to find a way to throw this over there without hitting any of the meat and bringing them to the wrong place. <laughs> hotel keycard. A keycard for the Prestige Hotel. It should open any doors locked with card readers. They'd be pulling the meat down, although those hooked ribs are sticking out of them. It's making an awful mess. It sounds like they're making an awful mess, to be fair. No whammies. And the sadist comes through. Just realized I stood up straight when I did that. Rat. Fair. I swear this is the room where, uh... Sebastian shot a, uh... A goddess statue. Okay. Is there a snail or something in here? Oh, is this just gonna be a stealth hiding place? I don't like that. Because they never have those, and I don't need to hide from something. Well, this is certainly an inviting place. Let's just crouch for no reason.
Okay, just checking. No unexpected doors there for anything to jump out of. I mean... Come on, I could get across there. I wouldn't be happy about it, and it'd be really uncomfortable, but I could do it. Why am I going back this way? I'm just feeling like there's something I needed to do first. Damn, this is... What is that? Potatoes? Apples? Potapples. Those are definitely potatoes. I don't know who those are. Bad... Uh, is that bad fish or bad bread? It's fish bread. The crunchy treat. Oh, yes! Uh, it has been brought to my attention that uh, Louise Isaac also sent a... Uh, a comment uh, on the subject of the ridiculous Easter egg with the uh, dancing shade. So thank you too uh, as well for that. It just somehow escaped my notice. My bad. Trying to decide if I should just keep playing this next week, or I should find something more seasonally appropriate. I don't actually remember what I was playing in December last year, but I do remember that I uh, put it on hold, whatever it was, and uh, ran videos of uh, Goat Simulator's uh, MMO mode. Even unlocked a real hero. Save Sebastian's life in the hotel, chapter four. I do love the K logo with the uh, Superman symbol. Oh, it's a, it's a it's hands opening a shirt. <laughs> okay, I get it. Um, the boss fight against the uh, the keeper there. You get to the room, you know, trying to, chasing after him in order to save Joseph, but you get there just as Joseph uh, disappears in a uh, in a dumbwaiter. Then you fight the keeper, and I think the first time you kill him, it's one of those encounters where you have to kill him a number of times in order to move the event along. And the first time you kill him, the elevate the dumbwaiter starts moving again even though you haven't pushed the button. I think that's how it was. It's been a little while. It might have been that uh, it starts moving, but then jams or something, and then it just starts moving again on its own after you kill him. Either way, I just sent the uh, dumbwaiter down to save uh, Sebastian's life. I like that. I like that a lot. I seem to remember there were bits in, uh... What was it called? Not Assignment Ada. That was the really short thing from RE4. It was like the timer running. The, uh, the longer one. I'll just look it up. It's called Separate Ways. Sorry, I seem to remember there were a few bits in there where the, that uh, were kind of like that, where they felt like they set up 
events from uh, the main RE4 campaign. You know, Ada would leave something in a certain way, and that's how it was when Leon got there. Not this again. Oh God. More of them. Me without several axes. Okay, I see an axe handle there. Right there. Is it just the one man? So I can usually deal with it if it's just one guy. It's not just one guy. I created this world. That was, uh, one of them. You're dead! And now it's not going to be one of them. God damn it, there is more. Oh, fuck. So is that the same guy from earlier, or is that a third guy? I don't even see what the other painting is. There. Shit. And I hear another guy back here. Great. Damn. Damn! I definitely should have used the axe on one of these guys, but I didn't even know there was more than one painting because I'm an idiot. And that guy wanders out here for a bit, so... Oh hell. Stand up, damn it! my gun. I never did find out what the other thing was meant to be. Too late, I'm in here now. Sort of the third one. Yeah. 
remember seeing on Mythbusters. They well, they were actually testing whether you could climb up a vent from the inside using magnets. But they inadvertently uh, tested the whole idea of sneaking around silently in vents, and they point out these things are just made of thin sheet metal. When you move around in here, you can absolutely hear every step you take. Just clunk, 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 because it shifts and warps under your weight. supposed to happen. Leslie, no. Please don't. <laughs> Nicely done, kid. It's all right. Everything's gonna be fine. I hope. Not safe. Hurry! This way! No bullets. Ugh, damn it! I was just curious. As we all know, when, uh... Sebastian runs out of ammo, he goes, Out of ammo? As if it caught him by... Oh. <laughs> Yoink! section was here. Pardon me. Okay, I need to uh, end this one, so here goes. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play The Consequence, the DLC chapter for The Evil Within. Till then, I'm gonna lock this door, and then close myself up in this locker. And now I couldn't be safer. Later!